Hey there, Chris here from It's Mead Made. And you know, Bamboo Studio is packed full of features, and most of them people just scroll right past. They're not flashy, they don't just jump out at you, but if you start thinking about some of these features in different ways, they can unlock a whole new world of possibilities. These small tools can completely change how you approach 3D printing, and once you realize that, they can help you immensely. And today, we're going to be looking at just one of these features. It's simple, easy to miss, but once you start using it, it gives you more control and you can be more creative in using your 3D printer. So let's take a look at what it is, how it works, and why this is one powerful tool that most people aren't using. Now the feature that I'm talking about is pause at layer. Now on the surface, it seems really basic and, and it is. It just lets your printer automatically stop at a specific point in the print. So you can step in, do something manually before it continues. But here's the thing. It's one of those features that sounds small, but when you start using it intentionally, it opens up this world of creative options. Sure, you could sit by your printer and wait to manually pause it just at the right time, but if you've ever tried that, you know how easy it is to miss that perfect moment. With pause at layer, you can plan ahead of time right inside Bamboo Studio. Once you set it, the printer will pause automatically, reaching that exact layer. No babysitting, no guessing, and no hoping that you're in the room right when it happens. You can set it, walk away, and when it gets there, it'll be there waiting for you to do what you need to do before resuming. All right, so let's jump over to Bamboo Studio so I can show you how to actually set this up. So once you've sliced your model, head over to the Preview tab. This is where you can scroll through each individual layer of your print. As you move through, find that exact point where you want the printer to pause. Then, just right-click on that layer and select Add Pause at Layer. You'll see a small marker that appears. That is your pause point. Now, here's something that's really important to understand. When you add a pause, the printer will completely finish that first layer before stopping. It won't pause before the layer starts. It pauses after the layer is fully printed. So if you're trying to pause right before a new color or right before a specific detail begins, make sure it is set to one layer earlier in the preview. Once it hits that layer, the printer will move the printhead out of the way and wait for you to step in. When you're ready, just press resume on the printer itself, or you can even do this through the Bamboo Handy app and it'll pick up right away, right where it left off. It's just that easy, and the best part is that you can plan all of this ahead of time. No more sitting by the printer waiting for that perfect moment. No more guessing, and you can set it and walk away, and you'll know it will be stopping exactly where you want it to. So now that you know how to set this up, let's talk about this feature and why it matters. I think it's honestly one of the most underrated tools in Bamboo Studio. When you plan a pause ahead of time, you're taking full control of your print. You're not reacting, you're designing your print with intention. And that's what separates basic prints to something that can be truly special. And what's great is that pause at layer doesn't just stop your printer, it opens up opportunities. You can use that pause to make your print stronger, cleaner, and you can even add things to them. And this is one of those simple features that you might overlook the first time when you see it. But once you start thinking about how you can use it in different ways, it completely changes how you approach your 3D printing projects. In fact, the more you experiment with this, the more ideas I guarantee will start clicking for you. And that's where the fun really begins. So let's look at a few smart ways to take advantage of it. Some practical, some creative, but all are designed to make you look at your slicer in a whole new way. Oh yeah, something I wanted to mention really quick. If you've been wanting to take your 3D printing to that next level, 
I am running a free training series that starts on October 18th, 2025. It's called Fixing Fails, a 3D print troubleshooting series. During this training, I'll be opening the doors to the 3D Print Guild to the public, my private membership community. So, if you've been thinking about joining, this is the perfect time to jump in. Now, this training will only be available for a limited time as of the recording of this video in October 2025. So, if you're watching this in the future, the training will likely no longer be available. So if you're interested, you can sign up for this free training using the link down in the description below. All right, so let's go ahead and get back to this. Now that you know the feature and how it works, let's talk about a few smart ways you can actually use it. These are some of my favorite examples that are simple, but they can make a very big difference when you start experimenting. Now, if you have a 3D printer that does not do multicolor printing, Posit Layer is gonna be your friend. One of the most common uses is swapping colors or even switching to different filament types mid-print. You can pause at just the right layer to change your filament and add a second color for things like logos, text, and even kind of accents. And if you want to get creative, you can even swap different materials, maybe a flexible TPU layer on a PLA base or a wood-filled PLA top layer for a more natural look. This is a simple trick, but can completely change the finish of your print. And here's an extra little tip for you. If you have an AMS light and there's only four colors, guess what? You can still do a pause at a certain layer, depending on your model, and change that color. So you can take a four color 3D print into a five color 3D print. It takes some experimenting, but you can have a lot of fun with this and then take your prints to the next level when it comes to multicolor printing. Another powerful way to use this feature is embedding parts right into your model. You can pause the print to drop in magnets, bolts, coins, even small electronics, and then let the printer continue and just seal them right in. This is perfect for things like customized nameplates, magnetized signs, sensor, housings, or functional assemblies that need hardware built directly into the print. Now, one thing to keep in mind is the bed is still warm, so handle metal parts carefully and don't leave them on the printer when it's paused. And one extra little tip for you, because I have screwed this up in the past when doing this, if you're using magnets and they have the different polarities, remember which side is which. For these Pokeballs that I'm printing, that the little fidgets, one side it has to be facing the south pole and the other side it has to be facing the north pole. So I have to switch them so they actually connect. So this is just one example when dealing with magnets. Really pay attention to what your polarities are because usually it does matter. And finally, one of my favorites when it comes to pausing at a specific layer. Using it as a checkpoint. If you're running a long 3D print or a test for new filament, it's nice to be able to pause it at a specific point to just check on it. Is your layer adhesion working well? Your infill looking good? Overall print quality? That way, if something's off, you can catch it earlier before wasting hours. And it's a great way to tune in new profiles or just making sure your settings are dialed in just before committing to a really big project. So that is just a few ideas to get you started. And honestly, once you start playing around with this feature, you'll probably come up with even more ways to use it. And I would be really curious to hear them down in the comments if you do use this in a different way. So that is the pause it layer feature inside Bamboo Studio. It's simple, it's easy to overlook, but it can be incredibly powerful once you start getting a little creative with it. Whether you're swapping colors, embedding hardware, or just checking your progress mid-print, it's one small tool that can really make a big impact. If you haven't tried any of these yet, give it a shot on your next project and see what ideas start to spark for you. And don't forget, if you wanted to be a part of the Fixing Fails troubleshooting series that I'm doing, be sure to sign up with the link down below. And that's pretty much it. As always, I wish you a great day, and I'll go ahead and see you 
in this next video right here.